For those of you who are subscribed and have watched our past videos, you've likely heard me previously say that The Good, The Bad and The Ugly is my all-time favourite film. So, hearing of the passing of the visionary Italian composer Ennio Morricone was truly saddening news. As such, in commemoration of his incredible career, we're going to take a look back at some of his best film scores. Number 10, Days of Heaven. Terence Malick's romantic period drama drifts over rural American landscapes in an ode to landscape painting and the seasonal sweep of nature. With some of the most incredible cinematography ever conceived, who better to craft a complimentary score than Morricone? Whilst he was used to bringing to life the empty and dead vistas that he made famous in his western soundtracks, Morricone instead made the atmosphere and romance swell through the sound of classic cinema. Number 9, The Hateful Eight. Ennio Morricone is most notable for his scoring of spaghetti westerns several decades ago, and his music has been reused in countless modern films and television programs, but his newer contributions are harder to come by. That was until Tarantino rallied him up to score his first western in 40 years. Morricone's score for The Hateful Eight is enchanting from beginning to end. The tension building music is reminiscent of Morricone's old spaghetti western scores, but it also offers something new and original. Number 8, The Thing. John Carpenter is renowned for scoring his own pictures, including classic themes such as Halloween, The Fog and Escape from New York. However, in his first movie made by a major studio, he instead invited Morricone to produce a menacing and cold theme. Morricone adapted from his desert landscapes to an icy Antarctic environment, adding a suspenseful atmosphere to the sci-fi horror, now standing as one of his most evocative scores. Number 7, Cinema Paradiso. Giuseppe Tornatore's movie is a stunning homage to cinema, and a beautiful tale about friendship, love and childhood. Ennio Morricone's main theme condensed all of these feelings into just one song, a graceful melody that represents and adds colour to the gentle mood and nostalgic spirit of the movie. Whilst Morricone has worked several times with Tornatore, his theme here is by far his most incredible and has since become one of cinema's great classics. Number 6, The Untouchables. After coming off the back of his cocaine fueled gangster tale Scarface, when Brian De Palma decided that he wanted to do another gangster story, one about Al Capone and the alcohol prohibition, the natural choice for composer was Ennio Morricone. With themes that have an Italian influenced melody, with drum beats and jazz trumpets, and even a creeping dread during the infamous shootout at the Union Station, Morricone's punchy score definitely contributes in carrying the film. Number 5, The Mission. Throughout his career, Morricone has always had the capacity to reinvent himself. For Roland Joffe's tale The Mission, Morricone crafted a score that represents the union between the Jesuit priests and the native tribe, combining tribal Indian percussions and pan flutes with church choirs. The Mission tasked Morricone with one of the most ambitious soundtracks of his career, and ultimately resulted in it being one of his most beautiful and sweeping. Number 4, Once Upon a Time in America. Ooh. 
Considered to be Sergio Leone's most ambitious project, this masterpiece is a story of friendship, love, betrayal and death. The film that ultimately resulted in being the last partnership between Leone and Morricone, this soundtrack is an astonishing mix of memorable melodies and nostalgic sounds. When Leone decided to switch genres and make the ultimate American gangster film, he tasked Morricone with writing a score that sounded just as iconic as his westerns. Number three, A Fistful of Dollars. Sergio Leone's violent and cynical film gave birth to two legends, Clint Eastwood and Ennio Morricone. Eastwood based a career on his Man With No Name character and Morricone became the official Spaghetti Western soundtrack composer after this film. Leone knew Morricone since childhood and the partnership extended all the way to 1984. Having only a limited budget to compose the tracks, the Italian composer chose to forego an orchestra and went for more uncommon sounds, evoking the wilderness in the scenario. Number 2, Once Upon a Time in the West. There are two tracks in particular from this movie that bolstered this film's soundtrack. The theme song, which is a melody played by violins that grows into an epic, and The Man with a Harmonica, a wonky song played by harmonica that develops into an explosion with electric guitars like a full-blown opera. The grandest of Morricone's westerns, his work on Leone's sprawling epic is just as harsh, complex and violent as the film itself. Before we reveal our number one score, here are some honourable mentions that just missed the list. For a few dollars more. The Battle of Algiers. Novecento. Malena. The Big Gun Down. Number one, the good, the bad and the ugly. What else could take top spot? The ultimate spaghetti western, this movie is recognised to be a masterpiece of cinema, and one of the key aspects of this film is Morricone's undeniably fantastic music. Similarly to Once Upon a Time in the West, the soundtrack contains two masterpieces instantly recognised by every movie fan. The Good, The Bad and the Ugly main theme, and of course, The Ecstasy of Gold, the latter of which went on to be used by Metallica for opening their shows. Morricone never wrote anything more memorable, more evocative, and more downright iconic than his score for The Good, The Bad and the Ugly. Thank you for watching. Have your own opinions? Leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new content every week.